This week's Torah portion, Chaye Sarah, which translates to mean the life of Sarah, ironically it begins with the death of our matriarch Sarah. As we go through this Torah portion, we also realize that the end of this week's story deals with the death of Abraham. So we mourn quite a bit in this week's Torah portion. Something that is often asked of us rabbis is, how is it that the people in the Bible, in our Torah, live to be so old? Sarah lived to be something like 175 years old, and Abraham was 180 years old. And we all know of, of other characters, such as Noah, who lived to be hundreds of years old. And what, is it, what are we to understand that their lives lasted for so many years, when we today are grateful when we reach an, a ripe old age of 60 or 70 or 80 or 90? One scholar, Nahum Sarna, suggested that the ages in the Torah are not meant to be taken as as actual ages, but rather as lengths of time during which these characters lived life of meaning, of blessing, and of challenge, but also lives of deed. Abraham and Sarah, our first matriarch and patriarch who die in this week's Torah portion, certainly lived lives of deeds. They also lived lives where their faith was challenged and their, their mere survival was called into question a number of times. As we think of them this week and remember them and their lives and their deeds, may we also think of our own lives and may we be blessed with lives of blessing, of making it through the challenges that we face, having lives of deeds and also lives of pure joy.